So today I'm gonna to talk to you about the best ways to use a compact keyboard for ergonomics. So if you see right here, I have a compact keyboard and there's no numeric keypad on it. One thing that's interesting about just a regular keyboard with a numeric keypad is they always put it on the right side. Now, if you think about it, a standard keyboard is actually made for left-handers. And the reason for this is because a numeric keypad should be on the side of the keyboard opposite of the mouse. So if I'm typing at my desk and I begin to start using the mouse, I wanna keep that travel distance as close as possible. So anytime I have a keyboard, I just want the mouse within a few inches of the keyboard. Now there's so many people that are just fast and efficient at using the keyboard in a way or manner that they are used to, like an accountant who's always using that numeric keypad. This isn't gonna work for everyone, but for most people, you really should just be using the, the numeric keypad on your left side. And if you're right-handed, keep the mouse on your right side. Now, if you are left-handed, it's probably best to have the numeric keypad on your right side and the mouse on your left hand. So how can a compact keyboard actually improve your workstation ergonomics? A compact keyboard is actually gonna be better sh for your shoulders because you don't have to move your arm as far to the right or to the left. You can kind of keep it nice and close to the keyboard at all times. And when you have a compact keyboard, you're just minimizing that distance from your hand travel from the keyboard to the mouse. And the problem with a standard keyboard is that you're just constantly moving your arm at a longer distance. And it's just better for your arm to have a shorter distance to travel, especially if you're using a keyboard and mouse all the time. And if you think about it, every time you move your arm back and forth, you're just putting extra stress on the brachial plexus, which could maybe cause pain or numbness or tingling, or maybe cause some other problems related to shoulder pain. A compact keyboard can also prevent cumulative trauma. And cumulative trauma is basically just any repetitious motion that happens over and over again. So this could be like typing for a long period of time or just moving your arm from the keyboard to the mouse over and over all throughout the day. And just having a compact keyboard is just kind of reduce those muscle skeletal disorders that can cause problems later on in life. Now you may not think that this minimal approach will make a huge difference, but if you think about it, you're going to be doing this activity working at an office or a desk all day long and moving your arm in this position for a prolonged period of time over and over again can can be problematic, um, not just for your hand, but your wrist and your fingers and your shoulder and your, your you, ha you have a whole branch of nerves called the brachial plexus. And then also you can have, you can develop issues with your neck. And so just having a compact keyboard can make you um, a little bit better in having a shorter reach and a shorter distance to minimize these problems. And if you complete my remote ergonomic assessment, you'll actually notice that you can get a better score in your ergonomics if you use a compact keyboard. And decreasing that short travel distance can actually make a difference in the long term. Another reason to have a compact keyboard is you're just gonna have less clutter and more space. You're gonna free up more space on your desk, which isn't huge because you're only saving yourself about four by four inches, but any extra space on a desk can really make a huge difference. And this can be great for gamers, musicians, video editors, anyone who values minimal clutter. And having more space at your desk can actually improve your ergonomic position because you can move those commonly used items that you have close to you so you don't have to reach. And having more desk space can actually improve your ergonomics because you're reducing your reaching distance. And when you reduce your reaching distance, you're less likely to have those problems related to your back, your neck, and shoulder. So you can stay slightly reclined in your chair without having to constantly bend forward or reach for different devices at your desk. Now, which compact keyboard is best? So I would say if you're a PC user, I would go with the Microsoft Sculpt. And I think this is just a really good option because it puts your hands in a more neutral position, first of all, and then the whole design is compact. And then you can put the numeric keypad on your right side or your left side, all via Bluetooth. Now, if you just want a basic keyboard for uh, PC or, or Mac, I would say go with a, a good Logitech keyboard or go with 
Apple has, I think Apple has a good uh, keyboard for any Mac user that's compact in size. It's really nice because it's really thin in design and that means that you don't really need a wrist rest. Um, so that can be really beneficial if you have like a soft surface already to rest your arms on. And I also recommend the Keytron K2 wireless Bluetooth keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard and a lot of people just prefer that mechanical style of input. And for some people, it's just a better overall experience. Now, just to quickly sum this up, for most people that are right-handed, definitely get a compact keyboard. If you're left-handed, you don't need to worry about it. Just stick with a standard keyboard and mouse on the left side. Compact keyboards are going to be a huge advantage in the long term because you're going to reduce that travel distance that can actually cause pain with your shoulder, your neck, your back, your elbow. You're just minimizing all that distance to kind of keep your arms close to your body. And that's kind of the goal when you're sitting at an office is to kind of keep your arms close to your body. And a compact keyboard kind of helps you achieve that result. All right, guys. So I hope you like this video. If you are interested in ergonomics, check out my link in the description. And if you are interested in having an ergonomic assessment, I will put that in the description below. I also have a full article all about everything I've talked today. So definitely check that out. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.